Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Black Box Tech and in today's episode I will be discussing about one of the important configuration which could be dynamic but you are currently using as a static. So what is that? So for an example you have developed an angular application which will move forward to different environments in the development life cycle. For an example you have done with the development and that code will move to QA environment and then STG environment and at last it will move to production environment. So to do the environment configuration what you are doing you are using environment.ts file. So that is basically a static one and if you want to change some features or some uh, configurations so you need another build while you move on to different different environments. So for an example, your STG API endpoint is si.yoursite.com wherein the same URL could be for production, it's the yoursite.com. So in that case, you need to again compile your application, build your application to your environment TS to be available inside your code. But how you can achieve this as a runtime configuration wherein without any deployment anytime you can change your application and also you can use feature flags uh, in your application like feature flag means if you don't want any particular features in your application without a deployment you can quickly change by just changing your API endpoint or uh, just changing few of the configuration within your CMS. So we'll be discussing that in today's uh, episode. Let's get started. So I have a blank application I have already created using NGS NG Angular CLI and I will start by creating a service first. So it creates a service file that's config.service. Now I will define a private variable called app config. Now I will create a method called load config. So this is basically uh, the idea is to load your configuration before your application initialize. So you can simply call a service uh, and use that but the thing is like uh, before that uh, the service call your application is already initialized but you need those configuration before your application actually initialize and bootstrapped. So <clears throat> within this load config what I want I want a service to be called to get the data back so you can use the data to your application. So I'll simply return this dot so in the constructor file I need HTTP client so private I'll use HTTP HTTP client so let's correct that so I have uh, imported HTTP client now this dot underscore HTTP dot get so here will be our URL and uh, mainly uh, we want this not an observable but this time we need a promise because the property we will be using that basically accept promise only. So this is very important you need to remember. So 
once we pass this url i have already an url i have created a dummy json file here so i will use that and then i will use two promise to convert that as a promise and then response i will get back the response and i will store the response into our app config so this dot so now i will have another method so that is git config and the idea is i will simply return our this dot app config here so first we will be calling this and this service will be called before our application bootstrapped or loaded and then uh, the data will store into app config and for the remaining life cycle of the application uh, it will be using the configuration data from this method so there will be no additional calls because we already got that back, the data back before our application initialized then and then we are storing the data and simply this method will return the data to you so our service is ready now i'll be going to app module so in app module the first thing i will be using importing uh, the http client module So this is auto imported and also I need to import this config service. So inside provider I will be importing config service. So inside your service you can remove this provider in because I need to use that inside our app module. So <coughs> and then I'll be using provide so provide uh, I'll be using app initializer so app initializer is the thing which will be using and this will uh, uh, this actually accept only a promise so that's why our in service I am using uh, promise here so I'll be using app initializer so that should import yeah so it is imported and then uh, I'll be using the use factory and I'll be creating this factory soon this factory factory function so let's say the factory file function I'll uh, name it app config and then uh, I'll be using multi true so you can provide multiple uh, here so multiple multi true and then uh, for dependencies depths uh, this is dependency in config service which you already imported now we'll be creating, creating this app config function so here I'll be taking this constant app config equal to and then I'll be using our config give it a name of config and we'll be using this config service here And this factory function will return a function and will be returning this config dot I'm sorry config dot this load config which will return a promise. So with this, so the idea is like uh, before anything, this until unless your promise will resolve, your application will not <coughs> start. And once that component, uh, that service is resolved, uh, you will get your configuration data back and that will be stored uh, here. So any consecutive call or uh, where you require that configuration data, you can simply call this get config and, the, and that value will be available here.
within this app config so let's start ng serve so let's open our console and what i'll do i'll just take console here so as you can see this configuration is returned so we have api url default theme enable debug mode true or false and also like this api url for any consecutive service call you can get uh, this url from your configuration so how to check if this is running uh, actually uh, before your application initialize or not so simply if you can go to app component.ts and uh, let's add ng on in it put a console.log here So if you go uh, to test, like you can see the service is called first and then your application uh, console log coming from your engine or your component. So when your component actually initialize before that, this data is available. So to further test out, say for an example, in your component, you need that configuration data. So sim that is very simple. So you just within this console log. So uh, as I said, like your data will be stored here, this app config, right? So you can call this get config only and we'll get the data back. So let's uh, try uh, within app component. I will just console.log. So uh, let's try this variable and So first import the service as well and fix service. So it is imported within a constructor. Um, And what I'll do, I will use this this dot service dot git config, and this is a function, and I will try to get one of the items. So, for an example, API URL. So simply, you can get that. So now, if you save and uh, load your application, you can see from app component you have access to one of the configuration so that is basically idea for next uh, say uh, from your service you are sending the api url and you if you can create another service uh, and get this data back <coughs> from that and you can on fly without another deployment anytime you can change that url in your server or the service and your application without a deploy uh, it can change so for an example you have also have a theme uh, and you think like well, without a build you want to change that theme to be served to the users you can quickly change this to black to uh, thing and then without deploy it will going to change so I hope uh, this is very useful for you and uh, you don't want to use the environment.ts again because always uh, runtime configuration is better than a static one. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe uh, to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.